now let's take another example for uh, performing the Huffman coding. A appears 10 times, E appears 15 times, I appears 12 times, O appears 3 times, U appears 4 times, S appears 13 times and T appears once. And uh, what you need to do, you need to create a priority queue and uh, the priority queue will now contain the elements as T as 1 at the front then O with 3 second U with 4 information third this is done this is done and this is done then A with 10 next this is also done I with 12 is the next one and then S with 13 is the next one which is appearing and finally E with 15 so you see that you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 characters. If you observe the last example which is in the earlier video, it required 1, 2, 3 steps. You had 4 characters so you required 3 steps. If you have 7 characters then you will require 6 steps. So in the first step what you will do, you will delete these two values. You will create a new node, the newly created node will contain the in, uh, sorry for the newly created node the left sun is set as t as 1 and the right sun is set as o over 3 1 plus 3 4 is the information of this node and then this node will be inserted back in the priority queue in the priority queue 4 is already there so this 4 will be inserted after you okay. and then a with 10 is already there i with 12 is there S with 13 is there, E with 15 is there. Now in the step 2, you will again do the similar work. We will delete these two informations, you create a new node, left will be set as U with, U with 4, U with 4 and then T with 1 over 3 the sum of these two 8 is set as the data data value of this node then 8 is inserted in the priority queue so 8 is the smallest one so will be inserted in the front d with 10 is here i with 12 is here s with 13 is here and d with 15 is here so in this step 3 you will again delete the two front informations from the priority queue we will sum the frequency of these two and then we'll insert in the priority queue. So sum will be 18. So that will be inserted after 15. So in the start we will have I with 12, S with 13, E with 15 and then this 18. So the left sum will be this 8, right sum will be this D with 10 fine in this step 4 we will delete these two this cumulative sum will be 25 25 will be inserted after 18 so T with 15 is there, 18 is there and just doing a shortcut and not writing these things and then 25 is the newly created node for the left it will be I with 12 and the right will be S with 13. I hope you remember that uh, the first deleted information is set as a left child of the newly created node and the next deleted information will be set as the right son of the newly created node. So step 4 is complete then we will do the step 5. In the step 5 we are going to delete these two. The cumulative sum will be 18 plus 15 that will be 33. 33 will be inserted after 25. So 25 is at the beginning then 33 here for this E with 15 and 
this 18 which has some left and right sum I will put it at the end so this is the status of the priority queue in the step number 5 the last one the step number 6 we are going to do in the step number 6 you will delete these two then you will create a new node cumulative sum of uh, these two will be set as the data value of this node so 25 plus 33 this will be 58 left sum will be set as 25 and right sum will be set as 33 and this third 58 will be inserted in the priority queue so this is i with 12 s with 13 p with 15 18 now expanding 18 this is 8 u with 4 4 t with 1 O with 3 D with 10 right? so putting the information starting from the root node left child is assigned as 0 right as 1 0 1 left 0 right 1 left 0 right 1 left 0 right 1 left 0 and right 1 fine right? so if we start writing the codes for the various characters let's say first I am writing it for i so the code for i is 0 0 then let's say I am writing for S. For S the code is 0, 1. Then for E the code is 1, 0. For U the code is 1, 1, 0, 0. For T the code will be 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. For O the code will be 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. For D, the code will be 111. See, the uh, code length for I is 2 bits. This is also for 2 bits. 2 bits, 4 bit for U, 5 bit for T, 5 bit for O, and 3 bits for D. So you see, the characters which was appearing for the most number of time was E, and E is having 2 bit length. I is appearing for 12 times. And S is appearing for 13 times more or less similar number of appearances for these characters and the code length is 2 and uh, T is appearing for least number of time that is uh, one time only and the code length is 5 bits so you see that uh, the code which are appearing for more number of time we are finding the shorter code for that and the code that is appearing for uh, more num uh, for less number of times the code is largest for that so we are doing lot of saving corresponding to the character which is appearing for more number of times uh, then we will uh, try to understand the algorithm for the same we have already done the procedure the algorithm will be uh, written more or less res with respect to the uh, procedure that we have actually seen so this is the Huffman tree so this code is telling you how to generate the Huffman tree let's say set of characters are given and uh, their frequencies are also given let's say there is a C array and uh, the C array is uh, giving us the information about the characters and their frequency so what we are actually doing uh, let's say the N is also given N is the now total number of characters which are appearing in a text file so first we have to create the node corresponding to every character so for i equals to 1, 2 and do let's say make node is a function which creates the node and uh, make node function is going to create node for the C character let's say CI is giving us the character and its frequency and uh, let's say this node is Z and this Z node is inserted in the priority queue. So let's say PQ insert is the method by which I can insert in the priority queue. So PQ insert PQ Z. Fine. So both of these lines are inside the for loop. So we have created a node for every character 
and then insert it in the priority queue. So here I can say that I have taken a priority queue PQ and this PQ has been initialized to null. Fine. So below this you can write it like PQ is equals to null. So once this in these insertions have taken place, you will perform the steps and you have seen that we have to perform n minus 1 steps. So for i equals to 1 to n minus 1, 2, you will perform n minus 1 steps. In each of the step, you have to remove two characters or two nodes from the priority queue. So let's say x equals to pq delete. In priority queue, you are deleting an element. First deleted element is taken in x. Second deleted uh, node is taken in let's say y. And then you are creating a node. Let's say with the make node function, you are creating a node. Fine. And then z dot data data item of data value of this z is set as x dot data plus y dot data fine and then setting up the left and the right child child's so z dot left is set as x z dot right is set as y you have a node and then you will insert this node in the priority queue so pq insert in the priority queue the z node fine so you are performing these steps n minus one times you are deleting two informations and then you are creating a new node the data item of uh, this uh, newly created node is set as the inf information sum of data sum of these two nodes x is set as left of z the newly created node y is set as the right child of the newly, newly created node and this the newly created node is inserted back in the IT queue so this actually is the algorithm for creating the half point tree Thank you.